is Julia LaBelle and I'm a student at Florida State University studying Humanities and Spanish. This fall I got to take a Latino literature course and Latino culture is something that I've always really loved but the literature we studied written by Latinos in the United States was just stunning and as with any culture or any situation though this literature touched on some real hardships um, that Latinos face, especially as immigrants. Um, one thing that it addressed was a tension between one's Latino self and one's American self. I just noticed kind of for a lot of the writers this temptation to assimilate and to um, just repress their culture for the sake of belonging. And this was, this was pretty unsettling for me because I love Latino culture and I know so many other people who feel the same way, non-Latinos. This video is our response in gratitude for the life and the passion and the culture that Latinos share with us gringos and the way that it's affected us. This isn't an academic look at Latino culture. We speak purely from our experience. But what's so powerful is that we speak humbly from the heart in gratitude for our Latino brothers and sisters. So I hope you like it and disfruta. What's up FSU? My name is Benjamin Leonard. I'm a friend of Julie's and uh, I'm a Roman Catholic seminarian studying to be a priest. Studying down here in South Florida at St. Vincent de Paul Regional Seminary. And Julie asked me to help her out with this project. I think the reason that Julie asked me is because I spent three years studying down in Miami uh, and then I spent last summer, I spent two months in the Dominican Republic and had an amazing experience. So here we go. We're in La Romana and it's the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And uh, we showed up, there was like a thousand people plus, all in a big outdoor uh, space for the Mass. After the Mass, which was very beautiful, uh, very well preached and uh, put out this huge spread and it was just such a an awesome feast. Okay so what do I love about Latino culture? Food. I love Latino food. Uh, Latino food is definitely like an experience. I mean have you seen the way that these people mix flavors and uh, you have like eight different ways to prepare plantains. So who can be so we finish eating and they strike up the band. And they didn't stop playing until like two o'clock in the morning. Music. Have you ever listened to merengue or bachata or salsa? This stuff's awesome. Uh, por ejemplo. that an entire culture has rhythm and white people don't. Come on. So we just danced. Okay, so we're talking about dancing. You know, I mean, there's something so wonderful about a culture who knows how to dance. And they have like particular dances that they all know how to do. So, and we're talking about dancing, not just having sex with clothes on, you know? And uh, I mean, there's something innately sexual about dancing anyhow. But for this to be so beautiful and like there's this communication between people with their bodies, it's really amazing. <sighs> I had to go all the way to the Caribbean just to learn how to dance. Wake up, America! And we talked and mingled and we saw families and friends that we knew from the area. If I tried to explain it to you, you probably wouldn't believe me how friendly everybody was. I mean, we would go down to the park, we'd walk around the plaza, walk in and out of the shops, we'd be meeting people, talking with them all the time, they want to know who you are, where you're from, what you're doing, and before you know it, you're having dinner at their house. And uh, it was a blast, and it was, it was unlike any kind of celebration that I've ever experienced in the States. Lest we forget that Latino culture knows how to throw a good party. It had a completely different feel. So we went home, sat around, talked, had a drink, went to bed. Mm, it's gotta be the siesta. Alright, look, so I know it's the end of the night, but I didn't get to it earlier because it's not part of the story, but whoever came up with sleeping in the middle of the day is boss. 
And that is what I love about Latino culture in a nutshell. So that's it. Thanks, FSU. Que Dios les bendigan. Adios. So my name is Marie and I am one of Julie's friends and she asked me to talk a little bit about I guess my relationship with Hispanic culture because she knows that I am involved with some service projects that work with immigrants and migrant workers in the Quincy and Tallahassee area. But my journey with Hispanic culture actually starts a long time before that. I have studied Spanish since I was about 13 when I lived in Texas. Pretty much from the moment that I started, uh, I completely fell in love with the language and the culture and the area. First time I really realized how much I loved learning about the culture is when my um, my church would have a festival every year and they would always have the ballet folklorico come in and dance and I just remember watching like the traditional um, Mexican dances. It was just such an amazing celebration of life and culture in that setting. So that's kind of how I started deciding to pursue Hispanic culture and learning about it. The first time I actually went outside the U.S., I spent a month in Costa Rica with FSU, with a group of 10 FSU University students, um, and we were basically working with and getting to live with and learn from a group of 10 or 15 university students from Costa Rica. The impact that that culture had on me when I traveled influenced me in ways I can't even imagine. The hospitality, they cooked for me every single day. They did my laundry, like. Also, side note, homemade Costa Rican food is absolutely delicious. We made empanadas and gallo pinto every single day. I still love it, even after a month of eating it every single day. We're just the most hospitable people I've ever met in my life. And that's something I've really taken away from Hispanic culture, that life doesn't have to be taken so seriously, and that, um, yeah, important things are gonna happen, but just to take a deep breath and relax and spend time just enjoying and being with the people that you really care about. Made me think about my relationships and time and things like that much differently. Anyway, that's the end.